being in the bars at 13, 14 years old was kind of different than most people growing up. We're in the stage and we're in the limelight, but as long as you come home when you're supposed to and, and be where you're supposed to, you, you'll be okay. How long am I going to play music? Till I, till I die. Oigan y oigan, señores. Oigan el ten caminar. Oigan y oigan, señores. Oigan el tren caminar. El que se lleva a los hombres a las orillas del mar. One time we were out of town and our luggage, some of our luggage didn't arrive. So we tell the guy who hired us, you know, we need, can you go to the music store and get us a trumpet because, you know, we have to go on in an hour or two. And he goes, sure. So he goes to his music store and he comes back with some beat up trumpet. <laughs> so we had to use it. It was so beat up, it was so banged up that uh, nothing came out of it. No sound. My group practices uh, twice a week, pretty faithfully. Um, if we don't practice, we're usually in the studio or performing somewhere. We've got real strict rules to follow in this group. Um, you know, fines for uh, showing up late, for not showing up, for coming in the wrong suit, uh, for not doing your job. We do more work for people that are born in the United States than we do for people born in, in Mexico. And here in New Mexico, we've had, we have clients from all races. So uh, I think the people from New Mexico absorb their culture. Whether you're Hispanic, white, black, they accept it and they, they, they tend to take care of it. The most beautiful thing in New Mexico is we can see the sky. It's just incredible. I love it here. Las montañas, the mountains, and the bicycle, they're beautiful. They're very bonitas.